Hi, it's Gene, retired in Mexico. And if you're new to the channel, we ask one question here, which is, do they write him and sing him like they used to? A lot of people, young and old, they think the old music is better, but I'm not so sure. And today, as you saw from the thumbnail, we're hitting up John Cale. Now, he's a veteran. You know, he produced albums going back to the late 60s. He's, I think, 82 now, but he's one of the most cutting-edge musicians. He does not rest on his laurels at all, and I expect this to be quite challenging music. So it's called uh, How We See the Light, and it was released as an advanced single by Domino at the end of March from the forthcoming album called Poptical Illusion. I'm a huge John Cale fan, got to see him one time in the 80s just by himself and uh, no band. And it was just great. He came out in a Hawaiian shirt and played piano and guitar. It was fantastic. Yeah, I'm a big fan. Let's see. His last album, um, we did a collabor collaborative song between him and Wiseblood. Yeah, he did a number of collaborations on that album. So, yeah, he's been active. That was just uh, maybe a year and a half ago that that came out. Eh, maybe two years ago, but yeah, he's been pretty active. Let's go ahead and hit it up. Oh, hit that like or subscribe button. It really helps. I mean, it's right down below. All you got to do is, even if you're on your phone, a little extra work, but it's worth it. You'll feel better. Here we go. Official video. Hmm.
I couldn't pay real close attention to the video because I was trying to make out the lyrics. I did not scan the lyrics in advance. And I heard most of the lyrics, but to hear those lyrics and to watch the video, I guess that was two senses at once, and I couldn't do that. Uh, yeah, really good, all programming. You know, first, when, when the song first started, I thought it was a female singer, but very quickly realized that that's just a synthesized vocal effect. So the whole thing was program the uh, bass and percussion and the uh, female vocals everything except his vocal of course was live you had those beats and an almost like cricket like thing going on in, in the background uh, as a rhythm element it's really interesting and some vocal production with some uh he would sing a line sometimes it would echo back behind the head Pretty darn interesting. I love his voice. I don't know what it is. I just love his voice. He's from Wales. He's got this uh, kind of Welsh inflection. I, I just love it. I, th I think he's got a, a, a very classy voice. And, of course, he can sing angry, too. Uh, he's got some hard rock material that he's done. Sing things like Fear is a Man's Best Friend. But this one was uh, more uh, subtle and peaceful in the uh, vocal delivery. Yeah, very cutting edge. He's using all the modern technology. Isn't that something? You know, he's, uh, yeah, I mean, he, he's not performing at the Holiday Inn, right? <laughs> this is great. He is absolutely with it. Yeah, I liked it. I think I'm going to give it an A minus. I liked it, uh, liked it a lot. I especially liked his vocal and the and the lyrics. What what keeps it from being an A plus? Maybe the chorus was repeated one time too many. You know about jumping the fence. Uh, but yeah, it, it was awesome. I loved it. Yeah, great stuff. If you like what I'm doing, hit that like or subscribe button. Uh, senior reacting to someone older than I am. Yeah, quite a bit older than I am. But he's uh, totally with it. Let me know what you think. And as we say here, and I always enjoy reading your comments. As we say here in Buen... Uh, in, psst, can't even talk tonight. As we say here in Mexico, Buen Dia.